Good morning from day number two in Wallon Brabant province of Belgium. Today we are at an adventure park which is so cool. Bringing in the kid and me, I am pretty excited to challenge myself in the treetops. So yes, let's bring on the adventure park in Belgium. For that, we'll climb up to the platform over there by taking the tree bridge here. So up there, I will explain you how the flying arm works. Okay. I'm going first, and I wait for you up there. Okay. <laughs> Quite soon. Okay. Woohoo! Thank you. Messi. Bye -bye. Trick is to not drop the camera. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Zip lining with a gimbal and a 3,000 euro camera. Woo! <laughs> All right, here comes the circle. Big circle. up here because at the adventure park they've got a bungee jump. Okay. Going up. Bungee and Wado Bravo Belgium. And that is it for our morning at the adventure park. It was definitely a super fun adventure. And there's lots of people here of all ages, all different skill levels of the courses and the trees. So very, very cool half day or even full day experience if you are in the area. So now we are gonna continue our exploration of Wallon Brabant and go to a different part of the province and hopefully see some castles and some nice gardens. It's a perfect summer day for it. So our first stop in the eastern part of the Wallon Bravant province is a beautiful juice making place with all sustainable produce. It 
it's a local production of Apple, Peer and some other products, so very sustainable, local, so let's cover them. <laughs> and our journey of Wallon, Brabant province continues. We are going further east and it's a perfect day for it. So let's explore. Amazing. <laughs> The next stop on our tour of the Wallon Brabant province is the Chateau de Hélécine, and that's it. How amazing is this castle? This whole area is now a public grounds and it's used for events, it's used for uh, different shows like old car shows. There's probably a cafe here, a restaurant, but just a perfect place to do wedding photography or to come and spend a nice summer day with your family and yeah. This is perfect, perfect time to be exploring. So it's time to have a look around the Chateau de Hélécine. Proper staircase. So we just entered the main building of the Chateau Hélécine and it is stunning. This is a provincial estate from the 18th century and absolutely incredible walking back in time and it looks like we can do a little bit of a tour on the inside and definitely check out the grounds around here. It is a perfect, perfect day to be exploring the Chateau Le Hélécine. And yeah, you know, you can't really go wrong if you want to spend an afternoon chilling with your family or uh, explore some really nice parklands outside of Brussels. This is the place to come. It's probably only about an hour drive from the city center of Brussels. Not sure about public transport, but I bet there's some way you can get here on a train or a bus. And yeah, spend a beautiful day in the sun. Looks like there's some fishing happening here. There's kids playing in the park. There's a bar for the parents who can just put their kids off to the side and then go chill on their own. Uh, there's a little miniature golf course here. There is a ton of stuff to do. So a very nice side trip outside of Brussels and exploring more of Wallon Brabant. No, for the winter, because yesterday I asked to, to let it open. First Belgian waffle. This is a uh, Brussels waffle, which has got less sugar, and I think it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Cheers. <laughs> It is time to say goodbye to the Chateau Hélécine. Very nice way to spend a portion of our afternoon exploring the province here. And now we are off to the Hotel Coru uh, where we're gonna have dinner and hopefully some nice views. No idea, like, um, one of those platforms that's like how I've met him.
So the Coru is this beautiful boutique hotel in the far eastern side of the Wallon Brabant province of Belgium and it is stunning, absolutely perfect. Again, it's like a wedding uh, venue, it's perfect landscape, probably a delicious restaurant. We're about to go have a three course meal there, feeling extremely privileged and uh, yeah, beautiful to explore another great part of this little hidden corner of Belgium. So from the adventure park this morning to the castle this afternoon, uh, this is, you know, another great location in this province. Bonsoir. 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 Hello. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yes, Welcome. Yes, you First course for me is a veal tartare and it looks so good. Oh. Enjoy! And that is it for our dinner here at the Koru Hotel. Absolutely delicious three course meal and a perfect way to end the second day in Well en Bravant, Belgium. So it has been jam packed but full of fun activities and adventure and uh, really surprising uh, the amount of activities that you can do just south of Brussels here. So very cool. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Travel Dudes for more videos throughout Europe and the rest of the world uh, bringing you travel tips and advice and hopefully inspiring you to do some adventuring of your own. But yeah, we are still here in Belgium for the next two days. So we're going next up to Waterloo and the Battle of 1815 and the end of Napoleon. So if you like history, stay with us. That is the next vlog on the channel. But it's been an incredible introduction to this province and I hope you've liked it. So yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.